Or would like to know. Um, can you elaborate more on how some of these uh, committees, the FISA court was actually established um, without actually any type of election? I think a lot of laws are passed, but then the implementa implementation and policies and procedures surrounding them are left up in the air. So can you elaborate on that and how the people can actually counter that? Any, anybody else can? <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> actually, the, uh, the Intelligence Committees, House and Senate, and the FISA Court uh, were a result of the Church Committee investigation in the mid-70s, uh, and also the FISA law in 1978. Uh, and those, those were created uh, because of what they found out about what the NSA was doing with the Minaret program spying on U.S. citizens without a warrant, and what the FBI was doing in co-intel profiling people and doing the similar things against people, actually trying to get people like Martin Luther King to commit suicide and things like that. Uh, and the CIA had their similar program called Chaos, doing the same thing against the same set of people, enemies of the White House, basically. People opposing the, the war, Vietnam War. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm sure they were all included, uh, uh, you know, anybody in any way connected with opposing that war and trying to expose some of the uh, lies and parts that got us into it, got all our people killed. And, and Paul and killed. Sheila Wellstone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we lost so many people that got maimed and killed over there, and we killed so many people in maimed. So, man, it's, it's just it's all based on a lie, just like Iraq, based on a lie. So, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, even CIA people knew that, uh, that when when uh, uh, they said the, that uh, Cheney was saying there was a meeting between Atta and some other people in Iraq, that was a lie. They knew really that that was a lie. Uh, they didn't tell anybody, so they let the lies continue and let them build up the lies to justify the war. And that's the same thing happened in Vietnam. So, I mean, we haven't had, uh, and by the way, <clears throat> the same thing's happening here with the war on terror, supposed war on terror. There's no war. Congress never declared war. I mean, Congress is the only body that can declare war, the president can. And so but they're calling it war, and they always try to justify this war. That's how you justified his statements in, in, in secret writing, right? In secret saying that uh, this, under uh, Article Two powers of war, you know, the president could do all this stuff. Well, there's no war. Where's the war? There's no declaration of war. So he has no power under that. That's why later on he tried to get Congress to agree and get retroactive immunity to all the telecoms and things like that for all the crimes they were committing. Okay? And also they should have tried. They didn't give retroactive immunity to all the uh, government employees that were committing these crimes too. They didn't do that. But I, I wanted to add one thing about Edward Snowden. Uh, none of the whistleblower laws apply to him because he's a contractor. Whistleblower laws only apply to government employees. So I just wanted to. Sure. Did anyone else have a comment on committees or how this work?